what you'll notice as he's panning is if you look at the grass in the distance, you can see this scintillation, right? The grass is sort of not looking very solid. It's popping in and out. The tips of the grass especially are kind of popping in and out. Now, let's go look at the saucer's cabin. If you kind of walk up that path, just get the feel for what it looks like as you're walking through this environment. There's textures that are strobing. There's lights and there's darks. It's just not that perfect. And of course, we're all about making it better. Now give me a slow pan, Sean. And before we pan though, just watch the grass wave a little bit, right? Kind of soak it in. And what I'm really talking about is like up here, you see how the grass is not continuous, right? There's, it's not solid lines. And it's always been bugging me. I mean, I'm looking at this and this game is maxed out. The game is running as fast as it can. All the quality settings are up. And this is a 19 by 10 monitor and you look at this and it does not look great. Right? It's a little bit disappointing. How many people would agree with me that that grass is not great grass? Are you with me? Okay, you're with me. Excellent. So what I would like now, Sean, is to show how we turn DSR on. So let's go to the game. You go to the settings. You turn it to 38 by 21. Right? 38 by 44K. Let's go back to the game. Right away, we haven't changed any settings in the, in the sort of the display. There's no like funky stuff going on. And all of a sudden, the textures on the grass are solid. Right? So what DSR does is it allows the game to render at a 4K resolution, and then we're using a sophisticated filter to resample that back down to the native resolution of the screen, which is display. And as you pan, you'll notice up here the textures are no longer scintillating, right? There's none of that, you know, in, out, is it straight, is it not straight? It's actually a much, much more immersive experience, right? That's because we're doing a higher resolution sampling of the textures, and then a filter to bring it back down to the 19 by 10. Now what I'd like to do to make it very, very clear is show you a side-by-side. -side. So I have another PC over here. Can we bring that up and swipe it halfway? So both games are configured exactly the same. The only difference is on the left-hand side, uh, it is running only at 19 by 10. And you can see again the grass is doing its little pop and scintillation. Let's just scroll around a little bit more and, and stay still for a second there. Kind of center it again and just stay still. Um, what I want you to focus on is there's something not right about the way the textures, which are those grasses, are being sampled. And it's not being fixed by AA. Now, Sean, on the right-hand side, give me the same pan. Look at the grass and look at the textures. You, you can really feel that those, you know, that's going to sting if you walk through it. It's going to, like, make your leg itch. And this stuff, it's just like magic. It's not real. It doesn't look realistic at all. That is the essence of DSR, dynamic super resolution. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back to the slides, and I'd like to show you a, a close-up of this. Uh, now, if I take that and do a screen grab, this is actually using uh, FCAT, for those of you guys that are FCAT guys, I took a hardware sample of that 19 by 10. And then what I did is I grabbed just, you know, one couple of blades of grass right there, and I looked at the pixels. These are the actual pixels that are being shown on your screen. And the first thing the savvy guys in this class are going to realize is that is not looking very much like a blade of grass, right? Now the second scene here is with DSR on, okay? It's again, it's a 1080p screen, so you'll notice that this, uh, this texture is totally different. Let me go to the next slide. What you're seeing there is somewhere out in space, inside of this computer graphics simulation, there's a texture. And if you haven't really thought about what a texture is, it's just a map of bits. And the map of bits is off in memory somewhere. And in this case, it's, it's basically a high resolution bar, right? That's the, that's the leaf. And if you're inside the white, you, you should show me the green grass. And if you're outside, you should be transparent. That's the way textures work. Now, the way this texture gets put on the screen is we actually sample it. Now, sampling the texture is a little bit complicated because you're used to thinking about MSAA, multi-sampling, in coverage. This is not that. This is actually texture, looking up at texture. Now, the, the rate at which that gets sampled, right, the, the density of that grid, is roughly equivalent to the resolution of your screen. Okay, so this is actually showing the exact grid that's on that stripe of uh, pixels, and this is a grid that's, you know, 4 by 15 or something like that. 
If you look at this square, these are actually those pixels that I took using the hardware capture. So this is showing you, you know, why is it that there's some parts of that grass that are solid and some parts that are, are missing. So at the top, you can see that that pixel is in between the two lines. And if you get lucky enough with your 19 by 10 grid to sample within the line, oops, sorry, let me back, to sample within the line, then you're going to get the right color, right? It's going to be white. We're going to be sampling that texture at 4K. And so now you can imagine what's going to happen is you get a lot more smaller pixels. And a lot more smaller pixels where a lot more of them are in the line. And it actually turns out to be fairly contiguous. Okay? The next thing we do, of course, drop the grid, is we apply a filter. Okay, now, a filter in this case is a 13-tap Gaussian filter. And what that does is it looks at all of those 4K by 4K pixels, and it does a little bit of blur effect, and then it re-projects to a 19 by 10 grid, and you get this sort of nice, continuous gray. It's still a 19 by 10 grid, right? But because we sampled it at a higher resolution, we're now able to generate sort of this nice projection into a 19, 19 by 10 space. Now, if you drop the, the lines, there's sort of the before and after, right? On the left is 19 by 10, and on the right is 19 by 10 with DSR active. 